science. Let's learn about plants. All about trees. I love trees. I hope you do too. They are not just beautiful to look at, but they improve the air that we breathe. They provide a home and food for lots of wildlife. Plus, in the summer, they provide us with shade when it gets too hot. Did you know that there are two types of trees? Deciduous and evergreen. In this video, we are going to talk about the differences between deciduous and evergreen trees. Evergreen trees keep their leaves all year round. So they have green leaves in spring, summer, autumn and winter. An easy way to remember this is with the name evergreen, meaning green all year. Deciduous trees lose their leaves each year in autumn and winter and they grow new leaves in the spring. Now let's have a look at them in a bit more detail. First, let's have a look at some evergreen trees. Pine trees. Fir trees. Cedar trees. Yew trees. Evergreen trees usually have narrow, needle-like leaves. They keep their green leaves all year, throughout spring, summer, autumn and winter. Now let's look at some deciduous trees. Oak trees. Beech trees, sycamore trees, horse chestnut trees. These are the ones that you get the conkers from. Willow trees. Deciduous trees usually have large, flat leaves to catch the sun. Spring. In spring, buds appear on the trees. The leaves burst out of the buds, fresh and green. Summer. In summer, the leaves are at their biggest, helping the trees to grow. Autumn. In autumn, the leaves start to die back and often change colour. You will see a range of beautiful colours. Oranges, reds, yellows and browns. Winter. In winter, deciduous trees have bare branches and twigs. I hope this video has convinced you to love trees as much as I do. Why don't you go for a tree hunt with your grown up? See how many different trees you can spot. I bet you'll be able to tell if the tree is a deciduous tree or an evergreen tree now just by looking at the leaves. Have a happy tree hunt!
Give yourselves a well done for a super lesson learning about plants. I really hope you enjoyed that science lesson. Give me a thumbs up on YouTube if you did and remember to subscribe to my channel Love to Learn with Miss Ellis. Bye for now.